So right now what I'm basically doing, I'm uh, soldering up the LEDs for my quadcopter. I want to run it on uh, a separate battery, but also be able to turn it on and off from my remote. So what I'm doing, sorry, just give me a sec. Okay. Taken, I've got my plug for my battery to power the quad. I've got another battery plug to power the LEDs. The two grounds have to connect, right? So these two connect, it goes to your wiring harness for your ground. I also branched off, I got a ground coming off, goes to my LEDs. So once it's wired up to your LEDs, you want to take your power wire for your LEDs. That doesn't get branched off, that stays separate. That goes into my on and off switch. Um, this is available on Hobby King for about six or seven dollars. Uh, I'll put the link in the description for you. Your power comes out of it. It goes directly to your LEDs, so that's all wired in. So you got your ground that's branched, goes together, goes to your uh, LEDs, and goes to your main wiring harness from both batteries. Your power wire goes to your on-off switch and goes to your LEDs. Then you just branch your LEDs together however you want to put it on there. Your on-off switch will plug into your landing gear. Um, so when you flick your landing gear switch, it'll turn the, the switch on, the power will continue through and uh, finish the circuit off. When you turn it off, it'll turn your lights off. Okay. Um, you want to do this if you're running a lot of LEDs. Um, that way you're not taken away from your flight time. Like this quadcopter is going to have over a hundred and uh, definitely would see a difference in my flight time. So um, it's a little different than uh, if you're just going to run off the main battery. All you have to do is have a common ground between the two batteries. All right.